damage control, Commissioner Bailey. Ciao, Bailey. It's me, Valenti. If it's for your newspaper, forget it. Besides, things are pretty dull. <laughs> no, no, I'm not looking for dirt. Then why do you want me? I'll buy you a coffee. Café Rosati. Half an hour. Huh? But... Ciao. Out with it, Valenti. What do you want? Don't get excited and listen. Do you know Fontana, the criminal lawyer? He only does business with clients who have money in Switzerland? That's the one. He needs a favor. Does he really? Take it easy. He doesn't want anything special. It's just a simple administration maneuver for what might be easy money. Right. If it's easy. But if it isn't, find somebody else. All right, let's see him. I'll explain immediately. It's about my son. I think he's lost his head over a photographer's model. An English girl. Her name is Sandy Bronson. She's taken every cent he has, naturally. She's a very clever girl, and my son, Mino, says he wants to marry her. It's an honest boy who proposes marriage. Barry, I didn't call you here to pass judgment on my son's character. And let's cut it short, Fontana. You want me to cancel the girl's work permit and send her back to England, huh? If you had the authority, it should be easy for you to expedite the matter. I forgot to tell you something. Oh? It's not too important, but it might have some bearing. My son knows a set of Romani who has a discotheque and a recording company. He offered to take Mino in as manager if he would have financed the venture. He asked my wife for the money, and she's all for it, but uh, I'm dead against it. I would like to know if Romani is trustworthy or just another charlatan. Here's half a million lira for expenses. Later, let me know what you want. That's my son. He's just as I pictured him. Listen, I already told you, Miss Bronson is not in. It's useless to keep ringing the bell. Well, do you know when she'll be back? No. <laughs> Nice air. Mm -hmm. I drink whiskey. Would you like to hear some records? Would you rather I prepared some dinner? Now, who are you? The neighborhood fortune teller. Ah. And do you see a mad night of love in your crystal ball? No, a long trip. I'm canceling your working permit. Belly, foreign permits office. But there's no reason. I mean, my permit's good for another three months. And I've never had any trouble renewing it. Don't give me any stories. Tomorrow morning in my office at 8 o'clock. Hmm. It's nice. Where'd you find it, Sandy? Oh, really, now? Would you mind telling me what's going on? I have no intention of leaving Italy. I like the work I'm doing. I'm getting to be well known. And at my age, that's good. No, I won't give it up without good reason. Mm. You're right. But policemen don't consider sentiment. 
It's beyond them. But tell me, what have I done? Corruption of minors. I'm sure it wasn't too difficult for you. But why the hell did you have to pick on Fontana's son? Ha! Huh. So it's Mina's father. I knew it. But you're wrong, you know. I don't give a damn about Mina. He's always chasing after me, and I'm certainly not the first girl he's ever slept with. Okay. I will talk to Mino's father and explain. You'd better hurry. You've got less than a day. I shall talk to the press. Good. I'll make the biggest scandal. <laughs> Bravo. If you think that will help you. Love or for a favor? Don't make me leave. As for a favor, I'm disillusioned. Hello, Baldo. The doorman called us. Who called you? Bad business. Nice little present for Christmas, huh? Hey, hey, hey. Uh, what do we write? Man or woman? Ask him the floor. Yeah, okay. No, Listen, where are you at? Please. But we're from the Sorry, please. Ego te absolvo in articulo morto. Bye. 
time of death between 11.15 and 11.25, roughly two hours ago. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> Just as I was leaving the office. Well, you have one more suspect. Huh. Get me a sandwich, huh? Yes, sir. Well, how about uh, telling me what you're doing here? What is this, Baldo? The third degree? <laughs> Was it that obvious? Um, how did he come in, the doorman? He had his own set of keys. He was bringing up the mail, sir. Uh -huh. and then he said he was worried when Romani didn't answer the door and used the key. All right. And so? Nothing. A friend of mine was about to put up some money. And they asked me to find out if Romani was trustworthy. So I came here to check it out, and uh, I found the door open. Very simple. Mm -hmm. uh, money for what? Romani was the owner of a recording house. Yeah, I know that. Who's the friend? Someone who's clear. Name? Ettore Fontana, criminal lawyer. Fontana. We'll see what he has to say. Oh, what there is isn't bad. Huh? And the missing piece? We couldn't find it. It looks like an old shot. All right. Uh, hang on to it anyway. You saw a woman come up about half an hour ago. That's right. She was wearing one of those strange furs. Why strange? It was funny. I I don't know how to describe it. Who is he? He's the doorman. Oh, I was saying that she came up about the same time that Signor Romani was... Uh, I had seen her before, lots of times. She knew somebody in the building. She was beautiful, Captain. You know when she left? I don't know. I was busy. I'm always working, no? What kind of fur coat? Well, it was, uh, white, hairy, like, uh, rabbit fur, maybe. You mean a cheap fur, then? Well, it uh, looked good on her. <laughs> there are thousands of girls who go around in shaggy fur coats. Maybe she was just here to see somebody else. Belli. Dove lo trovo, Fontana, quest'ora? <laughs> Qui sopra c'è solo il numero dello studio. E che ne so? Anch'io lo cerco solo allo studio. Pronto, voglio l'avvocato. Beh, disturbatelo pure. Sono belli. Parlarle. Insisto, devo vederla entro un'ora. Benissimo, a casa sua. A più tardi. Brava Sandy, ferma così. Like that. And yeah, not so steep. Relax, relax. Hold it, hold it. All right. Now look at me. At me? Smile? All right. One more, one more. That's good. Uh, five minutes, huh? With the blonde wig and the coat. It's enough. I'm working. I am too. Romani sent me. What are you talking about? Chi lo conosce? Now tell me, what have I done? You hit the bullseye with Romani. I told you, I don't even know Romani. They saw you leaving his apartment. I got there soon after. I'll have you set up for life. I... Give me that purse. Why? I'll show you why. Which is the one to your apartment? What's it to you? What key did you use to get in? Where's the one to the front door? There. If this is for the elevator, then what are these for? What are these for? I don't know. They're my keys. You were Romani's mistress. These are the keys of his apartment. No! I, I changed locks. They're just old keys. These are Romani's keys. You were his mistress. You went to bed with him and Mino at the same time. You convinced him to give you the keys of his house. That's it, isn't it? That's it, isn't it? That's it, for Christ's sake, that's it! I didn't it. kill him! He was already dead when I went in! I didn't kill him, I swear!
He was in the bedroom. Go on. I went towards him. And then I got sick. I screamed. And then I ran away. Why didn't you call for help? The neighbors? The janitor? The police? Why didn't you call someone? I don't know. I wanted to talk to Mino first. Why? Because... Because he had found me in bed with him. They'd had a terrible row. And you see, I was afraid. That Mino had killed him? Is that how it was? No! Mino didn't kill him. Mino has nothing to do with it. And neither do I. Do you believe me? Maybe it was you, maybe it wasn't you. The weather will find out. Will they question me? No, you can bet on it. You'll be the first they come for. Tonight or tomorrow morning at the latest. The press will start asking questions. And Inspector Baldo will need a good name to play on. You mean mine? A woman always fits in. <laughs> and happily enough, you're in trouble. Why do you say happily? Does anyone else know you have the Romani's keys? No. Or that Mino and Romani fought? No, nobody. The janitor saw you go in, but he didn't see you go out. You could always say you rang the bell, and when Romani didn't come, you went about your own business. I'm the only one who could disprove it. But I won't. As long as you don't tell the police I came here this morning and asked you to leave the country. You never saw me before, okay? All right. And about your departure, we'll talk about it in three or four days' time. So you can be bribed, huh? I thought so. Don't count on it. Put it in the brain from two yards away. I didn't know. I should have knew nothing about it. And Sandy Bronson was Romani's mistress. Did you know? No. Funny the two jobs you gave me, Sandy and Romani, should end up together. Are you bored? Sorry. What did you say? I'm telling you that the police will be interested in finding out if Mino knew about Sandy's two-timing. She was bed hopping with Romani and your son at the same time. Jealousy is an excellent motivation. I'd be concerned if Mino were my son. Mino? Hardly. If you'll keep my son's name out of this, I'll be sincerely grateful. Non soltanto a parole. Eh, non è facile. La polizia lo sa che si sono picchiati? No, non ancora. Chi ne ha conoscenza? Romanis, Sandy e naturalmente io. Togliamo Romanis, lui è sicuro che non parlerà. Rimaniamo solo Sandy e io. Posso contare sul silenzio di entrambi? La ragazza starà zitta, non ha nulla da guadagnarci, poverina. Ci sono sempre in ballo i suoi milioni, no? E lei? Beh, io sono un funzionario di polizia. Non è questione di cifre. So long as it wasn't me, no, I'm not about to shield a murder. I'm a lawyer. A criminal lawyer. And I can honestly say I hate crime from every angle. If my son were a murderer, I would be the first to condemn him. 
words are not sufficient proof of anything. But that's what I think. Excuse me. I want you to meet my wife. They questioned her to cause the money she was going to invest in Romani's business. Darling, will you come here a minute? Ciao. Ciao, darling, come in. Uh, this is a friend of mine. I don't think you ever met him before. Stefano Belli. A lawyer? No. Police officer. I would like to speak to you, Mrs. Fontana. No, alone. It's about Mino. How can you sleep with a guy like that? Why? Listen to him. In an hour. Gaston, has anyone phoned for me? Ah, uh, no, me hmm. Send someone to get a pack of cigarettes, will you? Va bene. Got a line? Go to with filter, Mino. Yeah. Mino, right? Yes. I had trouble finding you. I have to talk to you. Business. What business? Who are you? Not here. Allora? What do you mean? Oh, stop it. I know everything. You killed him. No. Uh, talk to Sandy. Maybe she did it. She's the one who called me. Tell her, uh, you killed him. Talk. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. What do you know about Romani? Who was he? How do I know? He was no one to me. Just a guy. You were supposed to work with him. For what reason? He didn't care a damn about me. He was only using me to get money from my parents. The pharmacy's close by. By the way, police. Che è successo a Mina? Mi dispiace se Carla. Perché non mi risponde? Andiamo con la sua. Perché via Veneto? C'è un sacco di gente. Senta, mi sta seccando. What happened to Mino? Nothing. What could have happened to Mino? Are we here to chat? Then relax, Mrs. Fontana. With the police officer. Oh, now you're offending me. It's work like any other. Mrs. Fontana, why did you agree to loan money to Romani? And how much exactly? How do you know about it? Your husband told me all about it. I find it very strange. Why? I didn't know you were such great friends. What's my husband want from you? I beat Mino up a while ago. I think I hurt him a little bit too much. But you were insane. What have you done to him? Where's Mino? I hope he should be all right by now. How much money did you want to give Romani? A lot. He's dead, you know. What? Didn't your husband tell you? Shot with a bullet through the head. Right here, this house. You know, I was thinking about the murderer. Via Veneto in the morning. Crowds everywhere. He arrives, enters, shoots, walks out, and disappears. He must have been very cold-blooded. Mino isn't my son. But it's as if he were. He's my sister's son. When she died, he was only eight. She was married to my husband. The boy's theirs. I decided to... to be a mother to him. 
That's why I love him so much. Keep him out of trouble. Scram. Here's my statement. You want to hear it? All right. Original and three copies. Okay. We've seen hundreds. Not one says anything. Not even her. Uh, you saw her, no? Uh, what's her name? Oh. Sandy Bronson. Come into my office. Hey, Inspector. Hmm? All right, let her come in. Is she important? What did she say? Romani's mistress. You were attacked on the street last night. What did it have to do with the Romani case? I didn't ask because he wanted to speak to you about it. What's the relation between these occurrences? No relation. They had insulted the woman. And yes, I... but the watchman said you grabbed his leg. Luckily enough. Hmm? He was going to shoot because of a couple of slobs. And he has a family to support. When did you see Romani for the first time? When he was dead. Never before that? Where were you before being transferred to Rome? In Sardinia? I won't permit that. Now, where are you going? Oh, since you're taking over, I'll take a rest. I didn't get much last night. I'm merely trying to fill in a few gaps in your friend's declaration. Apart from that, it's your responsibility. My friend is above all my colleague. And I already questioned him at Romales. But I, I might add that I've gone over and over his statement. And all is in perfect order. Fontana confirmed everything, point by point. I think the questions you asked were out of line. You think it means something? Who knows? All our leads are the same. Take a copy if you want. is green, the color is blue, the color is pink. I prefer pink to green, but I like green better than blue. Is pink and green a good color combination? Come with me. I have some questions to ask. But I'm busy. I'm sorry. Is it important? Just a minute. Please, tell them I had to go home, but I'll be back in one hour. Certainly. Police. 
We would like to ask you some questions, the Romani case. Why did someone like you agree to cut racket for a two-bit company and for a cheap crook like Romani? Please, speak softly. Do you like the house? I've been living here for two months. It's amusing. My mother and brother live downstairs, but I never invite them up here because they bore me. I asked you a question. But who are you? What do you want? I can have my servants throw you out. I told you, police. Police. The others said you weren't. Why did you disappear when they arrived, Mr. Policeman? Not another division. So, why did you want to sing for Romani? Oh, mon Dieu. I just finished explaining to the others. Romani and I just talked about it, and that's all. I receive requests every day. But you said yes a long time ago. I'd have worked for him only because I promised it to a friend of mine, Mino Fontana. How do you mean, friend? We went to bed one afternoon. It's crazy in the afternoon. Don't you agree? Then he's your lover. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. I don't like to be tied. I only have friends. Mino's a little wild, and I try to take care of him. So, she works for Romani only to take care of Mino, because he's wild. So? What did the inspector think of the fairy tale? He said it was stupid enough to be true. Neither you nor the inspector understand anything. Wearing a lot of perfume. But I could smell the alcohol when I came in. And your eyes are like glass. Where's the needle? I'm not very neat, but you're no better. Something Baldo doesn't. After you were questioned about Romani, you were upset enough to take a dose. Why? <laughs> I'm asking you a question. Bastard. Let me go. Oh, come on. But I have no time now. Can you come back tonight? Yes. Oh, my tonight, tonight. Oh, my Senti questa. Romanis vuole portarti via. Qualcuno è geloso e allora... Pam. Ah, uh, no, non fila. Tu sei una cosa seria. Ti girano intorno industrie serie. Il blef è solo Romanis. Però ti droghi. Non sei furba. Now you listen a minute. I make 30,000 a month. And I'm just starting. How much do you make, monsieur? 
clever policeman. You know, if I turned you in on a narcotics charge, you'd get at least two years. Think all those months without a paycheck. Ooh, Monsieur Tragic. Hmm? Work it out. Shall I be a dutiful officer of the law? Hmm? What are you trying to say? That you're right. One has to be clever. So you write me a check of $15,000. Stefano Bailey. I'm not joking. Get out. Who sells you the drugs? The name? He's dead anyway. An auto accident of nose. Dr. Lant. Mino introduced him to me. But I'm going off heroin. I'm going to kick in. And then? I go back to marijuana. Come avvenne la richiesta di soldi da parte di Romanis? Fu per caso. Incontrò a mia moglie e gli venne in mente di lanciare la proposta. A mia moglie suonò subito bene e me lo disse. Ha saputo qualcosa? Mi fai aspettare? Look, you see the way it fits. Does it mean anything to you? No. No, nothing. Maybe... Maybe it was just taped to the paper. Or maybe it's just a... a mark made by the printer. Someone gave this picture to Romani. Was he for or against Romani? Who's the woman? What do they want from Romani? You know nothing about it? No. I would have told you. Oh. Oh, please take me to bed. I feel so sad, like when I was in England. By the way, what were you doing back in England? Oh, nothing much. My mother's a teacher in a country house. Maybe you're just a little girl who wants a lot of money. I don't know. I haven't been earning for such a long time. But you're very careful about the beds you sleep in, huh? Was it a coincidence that Mino's father is loaded with dough? And then you go with Romani. Whether it was his or not, he had plenty to spend. Wait. If I wanted to be a whore, I'd have all the men and money I wanted. All right, all right. Now, what about the photograph? What do you know about it? I've already told you that I didn't know anything about it. Romani and I never talked about business. Oh, stop it. Don't give me that. People do a lot of talking in bed. What did he tell you? What did he say? Who's the photographer? I don't know. I don't know anything. Yeah, all right. Sorry about the bed. I'm a little messed up these days. It would have been bad for both of us. Stefano. Claude, 
was looking for, for a negative the other day, but I don't know if it has anything to do with your photograph. Who is this Claude? A friend of Mino's. He's a photographer. Romani often hired him because he's good. Yesterday, he stormed in on me furiously, knocking me around, always for the same reason. Because I went to bed with Romani, he said I had to know something. He was looking for a negative, but I didn't know what he was talking about or who he was talking about. Why didn't you tell me before? Because... because he threatened to kill me if I told anyone. Everyone's threatening me now. Not bad. Well, you said you're a friend of Mino's. What do you want? I'm a friend of Sandy's, too. I'm sorry, no discounts. No exceptions? Not with the quality of my work. I'm a friend of Romani's, too. Poor guy. I'm in the middle of something, but if you want to talk, go ahead. Sandy told me what you're interested in. I have the negative. Look, what are you talking about? I haven't seen Sandy for a long time. You don't trust me. Quite right. Explanation. Sandy told me you could take care of the negative a little better than we could. Let's form a company. 40 for you, 40 for me, and 20 to Sandy. Hmm? Well, show me. Otherwise, we'll never understand each other. But of course. Here's a print. The negative comes later. I still don't understand. Hey, wait. You could at least tell me what you're talking about. Getting more interested now. So the negative you were looking for is the right one. I haven't said anything about a negative. It sounds like a funny business to me. And I don't want to get mixed up in it. Goodbye. Have you known Mino a long time? High school and college. Architecture? Yes. That's what I figured. I can tell from your work. You go to Mino's house often, don't you, I imagine? Do you know his parents? What does that matter to you? What is it you want, eh? Nothing. If you see Mino, I'd like to leave a note for him. Would you have some paper on him? On the desk. There's a notepad. Mm, your letterhead. Not this. Police. I finished it. Hey! Hey! What, what are you doing? Idiot! Listen, you, you can't do that! This is where the photo came from. It's your work. It's not really a professional job. But maybe you were in a hurry, right? You don't only want to put them to bed, but you can't resist taking that picture too, right? Who's the woman? Did Romani give you the idea of using that photo? Was it an idea of your own? Who's the woman? The woman. Get out. I'll call 
the police. I am the police. No, no. The police don't hit till you're inside. Before you have time to dial that number, I'll kill you. I'll tell whoever's calling to contact the police. Don't exaggerate. You can find a simpler way of telling me you're not enjoying my visit. It's been a long time since we had a nice chat. Così, per ingannare il tempo. Interesse può essere un movente. Per esempio, un debito non pagato. Oppure Romani struffa uno, questo lo scopre e... Oppure ricatto. Perché ne parla proprio con me? E con chi allora? Caldo le piace? È il mio compleanno. Stia attenta a non macchiarsi. Io penso a un ricatto. I primi due punti vi sarebbero indizi che erano... Niente musica. Ho conosciuto Claudio, lo sa? Chi è Claudio? Il fotografo. L'amico di suo figlio. Tipo in gamba. Le donne si prenderanno a capelli per andarci a letto. Può darsi. Ma perché lei pensa a un ricatto? Scommetto che con lei si comincia dai capelli per finire a letto. Trema. Non beva più champagne, le fa male. Why? Thursday at 11 o'clock, the murder of Riza via Veneto. Listen to this, it's interesting. It's a woman. The porter isn't there, so she takes the elevator. Romani's in good spirits. He's waiting for some money. He thinks that the woman is going to bring it to him. But she begs to be left alone. She pleads with him. She's desperate. But he won't listen. She loses her mind and fires. And so we have one window and one blackmailer done away with. Who? Let's say she has a son. And the son often takes friends to the house. One friend is more interesting than the others. The woman's marriage is a failure. Well, maybe one day she's bored more than usual. Anyway, she ends up in bed with him. He's a photographer and immortalizes the conquest. Then the boy boasts about it and shows the picture around to Romani as well. Romani is a quick thinker and he blackmails her. That's how it went, huh? You want to help me give a name to that lady? You give her a name. I can't help you. That's too bad. Anyway, thanks for the show. I'm sure you didn't mind. I have no intention of forgiving you. It doesn't matter. Got other things on my mind. Why are you so shocked about my blackmailer theory? It's true. I've betrayed my husband. We don't love each other. It happens sometimes. Do you know why my sister died? It was after an operation. She was forced to take morphine. We didn't know she was under the influence of drugs. One day we found her dead. An overdose. It was then I decided to... to be a mother to Sophia's son and marry her husband, even though I was so young. <laughs> if you feel like making the whole world unhappy, 
but making a big mistake. I'm insensitive. Why are you involved in this situation? Because I'm an idiot. I could stay in bed and wait to read the murderer's name in the papers. Then why don't you? It's very simple. Money. I found a bottomless well, and I have a theory. The more money I have, the better off I am. And some of it is your money, too. Didn't you know your husband gave me unlimited credit? Hmm? He was well informed. I must have told him I worked like a drunk boxer. When I want to do something, I can't stop. And now I find myself more and more involved without understanding anything. Chi può essere stato? La sconosciuta della foto? Lo ha fatto per ricatto? O Claudio per riavere il negativo? O Sandy per lo stesso motivo? Oppure è stato Mino? D'accordo con Sandy? È solo un'ipotesi, non te la prendere. Too much, don't I? Give it all up. What are you hoping for? I hope to be a little bit smarter than the police that were put on this case. But what's your husband's interest in this? Huh? Do you know? You're not the type to get stuck on people, are you? Too bad if I am. Vengono per voi e trovano me. Trovano sempre me da un po' di tempo. Digli che ho preso un taxi perché la mia macchina si era guastata. Ero venuto per vedere tuo marito. No, mica subito. Il tuo salotto è molto comodo e tu sei dentro al bagno. Lascia che aspettino. Non vengono mica a cercarti a letto. I knew you would come for the car. They were looking for Mino. They found out he had argued with Romani. I think he boasted about it with his friends. Luckily, he wasn't here. He's been gone since morning. It's better he goes to the police. They will hold him for questioning. They will be tough with him. It's better he goes to the police. Stay with me. I need you now. Did they ask about me? Yes. But they believed what I told them. <laughs> they pretended to believe you. I'm beginning to stink a little bit too much. Why did you beat him up? What did you want from him? I never saw him before. He 
Is he the one? Doesn't even look like him. <laughs> Your memory fails too conveniently. I'm a photographer. I remember faces. He worked for Romani, taking shots of the singers that passed through embassy. When we went to his studio to speak with him about the naked woman in the photo, that place looked like a cyclone had hit it. So what does that have to do with me? A witness described a man who looks like you. So what? Look, Bailey. You had a copy of the photograph, and you had the same idea as I did. You went to Romani's photographer. Very logical. Um, did you get anything out of him? If I had an idea, I would have told you. I would have gone on my own. Inside. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come in, please. Yes, it's him. He asked me where the photographer lived. The photographer's place faces the courtyard. He has a funny door. It's like a cellar door. You would not think a photographer lived behind it. He asked me where the photographer was, and I explained it to him. And he said, that's a hell of a door. And so? What color was my hat? Green, I think. Uh, yes, green. I never had a hat. After a certain age, women ought to wear glasses, but they're too vain for that. Maybe he didn't have a hat, but it was him just the same. It wasn't me. Come on, take a better look. Come here. Don't stand there. Come closer. Huh? Well... Now I'm not so sure, but you were somebody who looked like... Senti, se ho voluto quel confronto era soltanto per me. Lo sapevo che la vecchia te la saresti rigirata, ma il dubbio me lo sono tolto. Riflettici su e vedi se invece non ti conviene raccontarmi tutto. Se non lo fai, cominciamo col fermarti. la roulette russa. Quella con la pistola? Ma che diavolo c'entra ora? No, con la macchina. Al primo colpo ci è andata bene. Dimmi tutto quello che sai della foto, se no sparo il secondo. Ma quello che sapevo te l'ho detto. Su, la pelle preme anche a te. Ma non lo sai che la persona al volante ha le maggiori probabilità di morire? Il secondo colpo ci è andato bene, ora il terzo. Ti prego, basta, non so niente, fammi scendere, ti prego. Tanto domani mattina mi schiafferanno in galera. 
Fatti un po' i conti e guarda chi rischia di più di noi due. modeling work and to thank him I went to bed with him it was he who took the photograph I don't know how Romani got hold of the negative but he started to blackmail me he threatened to tell Fontana about it and prevent me from marrying Mino why should Romani care you're not going to tell me he was in love with you no He wanted to hire me out to married men and then squeeze money out of them. And you did it. Well, finally I told Mino. And that's why, that's why he and Romani quarreled. And that's why we went to his house to try to force him to give me the negative. But he was already dead. He was already dead, honestly. And you're the one who tore up the place looking for the negative? Yes. Did you find it? Yes, it was in the wallet. Why did you want to marry Mina? For money? No. I don't want to marry Mino. I have a boyfriend in Brighton. I wanted to make Fontana give me lots of money, at least $20,000. Why so much money? Because my boyfriend always needs a lot of money. He plays the guitar, and that's about all. You're not the type of girl who can make money that way. You're not smart enough. You're too stupid. However, the negative has nothing to do with it. We're back where we started. <laughs> What should I do? Russian roulette all over again? Where's the negative? I've burnt it. It's enough. It's all over now. Contraceptive. Are you interested? I'm interested in the name of the person who made up the prescription. Ah, Landy. Romani introduced me to him. They both came to bad ends. Yes, I took over his practice, but I never really knew Dr. Landy personally. Franca, his nurse, should be able to help you, but today is her day off. Where can I find her? I can give you her number. Ma fino a stasera. Iniezione? Frank. Sì. Grazie. Oh, it was a struggle. Oh. Everybody in the building wanted to congratulate me today. I got my nursing diploma. Congratulations. And Merry Christmas. Oh. Come. How could Landy lose control of his car? Brakes and tires were all right. No one's inside. And yet... He has a fatal accident. Maybe he fell asleep at the wheel. He had been taking tranquilizers for quite some time. Why? Uh, nervous exhaustion, too many clients. What was he like? Dr. Landy? Wonderful, kind and very honest. I know a person who bought drugs from him. Emmanuel, the singer. Then she needed them. No. Who could gain anything by his death? Apart from me, nobody. He wasn't married. No relatives. How could you gain? Because he wanted to send me away. He said I couldn't make it here. He insisted that he preferred a male nurse. And he said he was letting me go because he wanted to hire a student. He was from his hometown. Did he leave anything important among the papers in his office? Uh, bills, receipts. We have taken almost everything to his house. 
Yes, I asked to speak to you. But not here. I, I prefer my studio. Tragic error causes death. Fontana case comes to a close. Mayo nurse confirms that the county of the villa was Sophia Fontana's. Morphine addict. Wife of noted lawyer dies from overdose of morphine. Sorry, I couldn't find my glasses. There is a lot of confusion in the house today. This was my first wife. You didn't remain a widower for long. No. Please do sit down. I want to speak to you about Mino. I must I... interrupt you. My money, Fontana. Until now, I followed your instructions. I don't blame you. I should have remembered. I left the name blank. There are no risks that way. Now you and I will have a little talk. If the police question me, as they probably will, I'll tell them that my number one suspect is Mino Fontana and that I said nothing until now because of my respect for you and because I wanted to know more. It's the only ace up my sleeve. I'm sorry, but I'll have to use it. Be careful, Belly. I can become a dangerous enemy. Fontana speaking. Thank you. Mino is in the hospital. It's serious. Where is he? The operating room. How is he? Nobody will say. Oh, sister, can we get some coffee here? No, I'm sorry. It seems you got all of them. Mm -hmm. There were three. They got in an argument and started a fight. Two broken ribs and a brain concussion? Mm -hmm. Right. What do they have to do with this case? Who are they? The photographer and two friends. I have just released them. Does it mean anything to you? Any connection? No. Now it's too late for the proposal I had in mind for you. Tomorrow morning at 8, my report will be in the office. My husband doesn't want to see anyone. He will speak with the police tomorrow. Now he wants to be alone with his son. How is he? Dead. Allora, possiamo andarci. How did you get in? The door. If it's for the money, I've already decided. I give you 2,000. You're not worth any more. And if you want to go to the police and tell them I take drugs, 
I don't think you had better. Because I'll say you've been blackmailing me. And that I've already given to you money. When? I made a check into your name and cashed it. You bitch. Just protecting myself. You should understand that. Anyway, it's good publicity. Have you noticed a trend today? Singers who take drugs get higher prices for shows. Come back tomorrow or some other time. Is he a singer? <laughs> Out. Pardon, Michel. Oh, it's all right. We'll see you at the studio tomorrow. Don't forget, tomorrow. What are we doing for New Year's? We'll see. Bon? Come, Chris. Yeah. You're very rude. Yeah, I'm from the old school. You'll be safer if you're covered. Do you remember Nino? What do you mean, do I remember him? you break down the better. What did you mean, do I remember him? He's dead. How? Claude, do you know him? A while ago. You're among the first to know. Tomorrow and the day after I filled up. And the day after is no better. I can't even go to his funeral. Stupid reasoning from the beginning. If Romani is a swindler, then he lies. Lies all the time. He was going to make records. Does that mean you would have sung for him? Who believed him? Fairy tales, lies. Supposed to get money from the Fontanes, for example. <laughs> and the Manuel confirms it. She'll sing for embassy. You never even thought about that. All right, let's say I'm wrong. Let's assume something new. Romani isn't lying. And Manuel wanted to sing for him. He had you where he wanted you. You couldn't refuse to sing for him. And that's why Embassy was launched. I don't know what you're talking about. Mino's death opened my eyes. They beat him to death. Why? To get something out of him? I told you I don't know what you're talking about. About a naked woman in a bed. I thought it was Sandy Bronson, but it was you. You went to bed with Claude and he took a picture of you. That is not true! It is. Like it's true, you kill Romani just to get the negative back. Oh. Don't be ridiculous. I don't go around planning for people to kill. I don't have time. I have a copy of the picture. I'll take it to the police. Turn it over to them. So? So... So I'm the one who's in the picture that Claude took, all right? I was drugged, I think. I don't know. Then Claude spoke to Romani and he said he would publish a photo unless I agreed to sing for his company. I needed time, time to think. Would the scandal be good publicity? Or bad? Then suddenly Romani was found dead and I... I breathed a sigh of relief. Then a woman called and said she had the negative. What was this? She called twice, yesterday and a little while ago. And how much did she want? She said 50,000 was enough for her. And did you give it to her? I told her to go to hell. So what are you going to do? I'm not going to worry about it. One has to know how to take you. I didn't really think you killed Romani. I just wanted to hear that the girl in the picture was you. You've got your foot on that glass. 
And you are going to disinfect it? No medicine. I have a medicine phobia. That's me. Not bad, eh? I want to take a ride to the sea. <laughs> I'm leaving, now that you've told me what I wanted to know. With three or four blondes. In a little while, I'll be much richer. Fifty thousand dollars richer. Where do you expect to get it? You wouldn't think of it. Mm-hmm. I see you've got the idea. I inherit the deal. If not, I send the picture to all the papers. It's worth it to you, no? Pronto, polizia. C'è una donna morta a San Salvatore in Lauro numero 6. Domattina riferirò tutto alla polizia.
Dear doctor, we are sorry to inform you that Signor Danilo Forti died of viral hepatitis here in our hospital on September 21st. Hello, Valenti, it's me, Belli. Ah, ciao, Belli. Now you can do me a favor. I have to consult some news clippings. I don't know how I'm going to explain this. The head reference clerk just came in by taxi. He said he thought the building was on fire. What are you looking for? A name. of morphine. Husband and sister in Rome rushed to her side. A male nurse from nearby hospital says he saw a car parked in the garden of the villa. Of particular interest is the parked car in the villa seen by the male nurse of Fiumicino Hospital. Mrs. Sofia Fontana was supposedly alone in the house when she gave herself the fatal injection. The nurse a certain foot. Forty. Investigation closed. Male nurse clarifies statement. The car belonged to the deceased Sophia Fontana. On the other hand, the nurse had no difficulty in identifying the car parked in the garden as belonging to Sophia. Mr. Fontana, still in a state of shock, refuses to be interviewed by our reporters. I have to know only one thing to be certain. You are the one person who can help me. Answer me truthfully. Were you Romani's mistress? No. Come on. And before your sister died, you were engaged to Dr. Eugenio Landi, weren't you? Poor Eugenio. I've never forgotten him. That was all I needed to know, if you were engaged to Landy. Now I know everything. What? I'm sorry, Vera. Sorry for what? It was that photograph that threw me off. It had nothing at all to do with this case. I realized that when I found Sandy dead. The murderer didn't even bother to look for the negative. Romani was blackmailing two different people for two different reasons. And Sandy kept the game going. The first person being blackmailed, the one in the photo, was a Manuel. The other, the killer, was... Who? Oh. Your husband's been very clever. He put me with my back against the wall. Now all he has to do is talk, and I go to prison. He was always in charge of the game. Did you know that? What do you mean? I'm trying to say that your husband's the killer. I only realized that when I went to Landy's house. The murderer went there to look for something. I didn't know what, but I found out afterwards. He was looking for the address of a male nurse who saw a car at your villa in Cimacino when your sister died. Do you remember? Yes. But why did he want the nurse's address? Because he has to kill him. But why? Because your sister's death wasn't an accident. Your husband killed her because he wanted to marry you. That was the key. The crime ten years ago. Perfect. Except for one detail. A male nurse saw a car at the villa. Obviously the killer's car. Because your sister was alone. Poi l'infermiere ritrattò la sua deposizione. E il caso fu archiviato. Probabilmente Fontana lo corruppe. Molti anni dopo entra in scena Romanis. Per caso. E da te riesce a sapere alcune cose. Di tua sorella morta in strane circostanze, per esempio. Altri particolari poi glieli racconta Landi. La storia non gli pare chiara. Si rilegge i giornali. Nota quel particolare dell'infermiere e si informa. Così ricostruisce il delitto come ho fatto io. E si mette a ricattare tuo marito, costringendo Landi ad aiutarlo. I due insieme chiamano a Roma Forti. L'infermiere che Landi aveva assunto per tenerselo vicino. Me l'ha detto Franca, l'infermiera, era stata licenziata per questo. Forti era l'arma con cui convincere Fontana a pagare. Però tuo marito è un penalista. Sa perfettamente che pagare un ricattatore non serve a niente. Così uccide. Prima Landi, 
poi Romanis, poi Sandy. Si reca a casa di Landi, cerca l'indirizzo di Forti, ma non lo trova. Forti non è a Roma, è ancora a Fiumicino. There's a letter in Landi's letterbox. It's a wonder the criminal didn't find it. If he had, he'd have known that Forti is still in Fiumicino. Did you tell the police? No. It's all so absurd. If I talk, I go to prison. I told you he's been very clever. I don't have any proof. And Forti? Forti's life is in danger if the murderer finds out he's still in Cimicino. But don't think I'll go to prison to save his neck. You're a bastard. Oh, stop it. I've been enough of an idiot already. Get out of here. I am sorry. That's why your husband got me involved in this story. He wanted to know if he'd married a monster. You killed your sister because Fontana was rich, only for that reason. Then when Romani and the others blackmailed you, you lost your head and you killed again. And now you are about to repeat the performance. You came here looking for Forti. You were afraid that I might speak to him and find out that the car by the house was yours, not Fontana's. You didn't know Forti had died. That's why he never came to Rome. I told you, Vera, at the very beginning that my theories made you too nervous. I knew it was you, but I needed the proof. I realized that the end was near. I knew that since I met Romani.
Baldo, dormivi. Beh, almeno ti scoccio. Mettici nel tuo rapporto che l'assassino è Vera Fontana. C'è un ospedale qui a Fiumicino. Fa mandare subito un'ambulanza sul lungomare. Adesso sarei convinto che sono pulito. Questi, se me li trovano. Porca puttana. Without her, there is just nowhere else you can go. Without having to explain why. Ask you out. 